Coming from a Canon system and now being on Sony, I wanted to see if I could find an adapter that would allow me to take my old EF lenses and put them on the E-mount. So I found one with autofocus, supposedly supported the IS, the image stabilization, but let's take a look at some examples. Now, there's some bad with that, but these images really do turn out pretty good. So let's take a look. I started with my Canon uh, 50 millimeter, the f1.8, and uh, I love this lens, but I immediately started noticing it could not grab focus and it was just constantly hunting. So I just decided I would throw it in manual to see how it looks. And again, in manual, this is a great lens. The adapter worked terrific. Uh, here's another shot where I went to try and tap to focus. Again, it started hunting. But overall, you could set it up, use it with manual focus, and it was really a crisp lens. I mean, the quality of this, I was playing around with the infinity focus, just seeing if I could find out where that was. And it's a great lens. So then I went to my 28 to 135, and I had very similar issues. The autofocus wasn't working. But in this here, you can see that there's just a little bit of warble or um, movement based on the image stabilization. You can see that it's wobbling a little bit, and then I turn it off, and then this actually has really good look to it. Uh, these quail were out in the backyard. Just a crisp lens and everything. So this one was running about 83 or $89, I can't remember. And since I have to run it in manual anyway, I think I'm just gonna buy, I think there was one for like 20 bucks out there. I'll throw a link to that one to see how it is and do a review after that. But having the access to those EF lenses is pretty cool because they're super cheap and you could just throw those on your Sony. No problems with fringing or anything. I didn't do any technical tests, but they look pretty good to me. Thank you. 